Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Taylor, Go Power Sports. And I'm Jason, and we are going to show you what you need for a mini bike overnight camping trip. Whether you're a newbie or a seasoned vet, having the right gear is what's going to help your trip be a success. So let's dive on into it. So it wouldn't be a mini bike camping trip without mini bikes. So I went with the Megamoto 212. This is our Megalodon. It's got full suspension, the bolt-on swing arm kit, so you're gonna be comfy and just cruising over any trail you can find. This model has an electric start Tillotson 212, a battery, and it powers the headlight really well. So you can, if you've gotta go off at night to go find more firewood or whatever you gotta do, you can light your path. It's got big off-road tires, big comfy seat, a rack on the back so you can store a backpack or strap some wood to it. Uh, this thing is really good to go. What do you got? So over here, I've got a souped up Trailmaster MB200 from Machinist Mike. This has a hot Tillotson 225 engine. It has our 10 inch billet machined aluminum wheels front and rear with 21 inch tall cleat tires. We have the extra modded gas tank for more fuel capacity. Nice wide seat, the juggernaut driver, a stage one pipe on it. This thing will definitely take you up and down any rough terrain that you may have. This is a great camping bike. So before you take off on your trip, you really wanna make sure that the bikes are dialed in. Your chain is lubed. Last thing you wanna happen is your chain to pop off. It's uh, never a bad idea to change the oil. Make sure you got fresh oil in it no oil leaks. We like to slime the tires, especially if we're coming out to the GPS branch or even like Colorado, um, there's lots of mesquite trees out here. So a mesquite thorn in your tire is always bad. Slime will help to clog that hole and you won't ever go flat. Make sure your air filter's clean and good fresh gas. All the hardware also, Go over every nut and bolt on the whole bike, put a wrench on it, make sure it's tight. I would make sure to lock tight over all your bolts after you do tighten them. That's pretty much it for getting ready to go. And then tools you wanna to bring with you. A lot of the hardware on this bike is like an eight, 10, 12, 13, sometimes 14 millimeter. So have those wrenches with you, um, Allen keys like a four, five, and six. And then something I always have with me is a Leatherman, like a multi-tool. Leatherman is my choice. You have pliers, so if your chain does pop off, you can pop the master link off, put the chain on, put the master link back on. You, it's a good idea to have a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver. And this has all of that. And then a knife, never know when you're gonna need that. Oh, one other thing. I'd like to have like a little crescent wrench. That is big enough to go over the biggest nuts that you have on the bikes. The uh, neck bolts are usually pretty big and then your axle bolts and nuts. Your jack shaft nut, make sure you have a crescent wrench that's big enough for that. So a crescent wrench that is big enough to fit on every single bolt or nut on the bike. Great tips. All right, so we like to carry a few of our spare parts either on a bag that is on our mini bike or sometimes they're going to be on our back. So things that I've grabbed for this trip, it's always nice to have a hatchet in case you need to chop down some firewood. All right, as far as spare parts, we got some slime for uh, flat tire repairs. We have an extra belt. That's huge. Extra belt, you never know when. We've actually got a couple of extra belts. One for you, one for me. Yeah. We've got our handy dandy sleeping bag, a camping pillow. I've got another sleeping bag. Other things we grabbed. <laughs> I swear I keep hearing people back there. We have some extra oil. This is some four stroke engine oil. We've got an air filter. We've got chain lube. Extra chain. 
and a chain breaker. Try to fit your chain before you take off. So it's just a quick um, off with the old one, on with the new one, or if your old one popped off and you can't find it, just slap the new one on real quick. We've got more chain and a master link. We've got an extra spark plug. That's huge. Spark plug, if it fouls, I mean, you're just done. There's no patching it, there's nothing you can do. So the spark plug is massive. And a healthy dose of zip ties. So this is pretty much all the tools and parts you will need to take with you on an overnight camping trip. You can never pack too much stuff. Obviously you want your backpack or your tool bag to remain lightweight, but the worst thing is to go out, you know, five miles away on your bike and to break down. Um, but we just ran out of firewood. So we're gonna load up on the bikes, get our hatchet, take off, and try to come back with some wood so we can stay warm tonight. Be sure to like, subscribe, and as always, ride on. You ready?